Watch out, you've just been bitten by a snake. Now, you may not want to waste three minutes watching this video, but trust me, it's really rare to die in less than one hour from a snake bite. So you can spare a few minutes to learn what may happen to you. Its large fangs just injected a powerful venom into your body. The venom messes with the ability of your blood to clot, leading to internal bleeding. You start to lose control of some parts of your face, and your limbs stop obeying your commands as the toxin works its way into dissolving your muscles and blocking your kidneys. Unfortunately for you, the Russell's Viper is a highly venomous snake that kills hundreds of people every year. This infamous snake is wanted in over 14 countries, but we have only been able to neutralize the threat in three of them. Field agents or antivenoms are used to do this. Antivenoms are made up of antibodies, which are soldiers that have the right shape to smother the venom toxins, rendering them harmless. So if this snake is so dangerous, why do we only have a small task force to deal with it? Well, consider venoms or toxins as the enemy forces that infiltrate your well-defended facility or your body. Some will circulate in your blood, causing destruction to your tissues and stopping communication lines to your limbs. This is when our antibody soldiers are then dispatched to help neutralize the enemy attacks by binding them. Now, they are well trained to fight most enemies, but they can only perform at their best if they're given quite early after being bitten. This is because some toxins are very small and very fast and can evade our forces and inflict damage in sites inaccessible to antibodies, like our muscle cells. And you can't reverse the damage that's already been done. Antivenoms also can't defeat every bad guy because each snake has a different venom, so it's needed to own special antivenom. This is a problem with our current treatments. So my research is exploring a slightly different strategy and is looking at deploying another soldier for Rascal Dib out into the field. Although tiny, it can infiltrate sites such as our cells to eliminate toxins that the antibodies have missed. This way, we not only neutralize the circulating toxins, but we can also start smothering those already out of reach and those that have escaped from the grasp of antibodies. To complete this mission, I'll test the venom on animal tissues and mimic some of its irreversible negative effects. Then, I will compare different types of antivenoms or voraspolib treatments to see if we can prevent, or better yet, reverse the ongoing damage. And I've found that voraspolib can work well against the time delay. And more importantly, when antivenom has failed, this drug can reverse paralysis and potentially prevent future muscle damage. My research will show that we may be able to make a meaningful difference in terms of snake bite treatments becoming more generic and effective for victims. And now that that is over, you might want to get to a hospital.